Space 220 is one of the most sought after reservations that you can get in Epcot Disney World. And recently, I was lucky enough to snag a reservation. So if you are considering dining at this fantastic restaurant, I'm gonna go over all of the details to help you decide if this would be worth it for you and your family. So let's get into it. At the famous Space 220 restaurant, you and your family will get the opportunity to embark on the ultimate culinary adventure. This restaurant is out of this world and features a celestial panorama view at the space station for a delicious meal. The restaurant, or should I say launch pad for Space 220, can be found in the new expansion of the Mission Space Pavilion located in World Discovery in Epcot. You were able to make your reservations online through the Disney website, and I have to admit that the reservations for this can get a little tricky unless you're staying at one of the Disney resorts. We were able to snag reservations for lunch on a Thursday afternoon and made it over there just before our reservations, hoping that we might be able to get in a little early. But they run right on schedule, so you can only arrive a few minutes earlier than your reservation. You're all set okay. around the porch and the porch lobby, okay? Exciting. Yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> when our table was ready, we were given our boarding passes and stepped into the special space elevator that takes you up to the space station. And this ascent up to the restaurant is one that you'll never forget. But it doesn't stop there. The entire seating experience is really cool. From walking down this hall and seeing the growing vegetables and eventually making your way to the main dining room where you'll come across this breathtaking view of the earth below you. We were seated right in the middle of the restaurant and I have to say I couldn't be happier with where our table was located. I don't think that I could have asked for a better one. We have the perfect seats. Pretty amazing. I am really impressed with that. From our table, we got this amazing view of the entire restaurant, and it was absolutely spectacular. The menu at Space 220 is a prefix menu where you pay a flat fee for a two course meal for lunch and a three course meal for dinner. For our appetizers, we got the Starry Calamari, which is always one of my favorite appetizers to get. This fried calamari comes with Italian cherry peppers, spicy marinara, and a roasted pepper citrus aioli. Along with that, we also ordered the Neptune Tartare, which is this delicious yellowfin tuna served with Yazoo ginger miso, soy, avocado, radish, mango coolies, microgreens, sesame seeds, and crackers. And once we were done with our appetizers, we got our entrees. For our entrees, I ordered the Galactic Salmon, which just look at how amazing this comes out to you. I wasn't able to get my phone recording in time to get the first person point of view shot, so I'm really glad that we had this secondary camera going when he arrived. 
This galactic salmon is served with glazed carrots, mushrooms, baby bok choy, and a ginger blanc sauce. And I have to say, it is delicious. If you want an out of this world salmon dish, this is definitely one to try. My husband ordered the steak and fritz, which is this delicious coffee space rub flat iron steak that is served with fries, broccolini, and a chimichurri sauce. And I don't think that you could go wrong with either one of these dishes. Both of them were so good. And throughout your meal, you have this stunning view that just constantly changes. So you'll have to keep an eye out for astronauts, asteroids, and even other space stations as they fly by. And even though our lunch didn't come with a dessert, we opted to get one anyway because, well, this meal was celebrating my birthday and I just couldn't leave without trying a dessert. For dessert, I ordered the strawberry shortcake, which our waiter told us was actually leaving the menu soon, so it wouldn't be available for much longer. And I'm really sad about this because this strawberry shortcake was delicious and served with the matchy air cake, mascarpone mousse, and strawberries. And because it was my birthday, they also added a few little happy birthday chocolate pieces to go on top. And as another added surprise for my birthday, they also gave me a complimentary chocolate cupcake. If you are thinking of dining at Space D20, here's a few things to know. You do have to make reservations in order to dine at Space D20 in either the dining room or the lounge area. If you have a smaller party, like think two people like us, then you may have a better luck of snagging one of the smaller tables in the lounge. They do have a few seats that are available at the bar that are first come first serve. So if you do want to just be inside the restaurant, this is a really great option. However, the line is known to get really long. So it's up to you if you want to burn the time waiting in line to eat at the bar. If you are staying at a Disney resort, then you are able to make reservations up to 60 days before your visit. And this is probably one of your best chances to snag a hard to get reservation like this. And since this is a dine-in table service meal, please know that it is gonna eat up quite a bit of your time while you're in the park. Our entire dining experience lasted about an hour and a half. So I would allocate at least two hours for your experience here. Also, don't forget that you are required to have park reservations in addition to your dining reservations for the day. Having a dining reservation at any of the restaurants within Epcot does not guarantee you access to the park. So if you wanna make sure that you are able to get to your highly sought after dining reservations, make sure that it's also for a park that you already have reservations for. Once our meal was over, we made our way back over to the space elevator where we got one last trip back down to Epcot, ending our spectacular meal in one of the coolest ways ever. So if you are planning on spending any additional time or the entire day in Epcot, then guess what? I have an entire park guide for you that's going to go over every single one of the attractions to help you plan your day. So until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.